Hello and welcome to my video for upgrading ARS 6.9 to ARS 7.3. Now here we have our ARS 6.9 environment. You see we have a domain added. So we're simply going to close the console here and bring up the ARS 7.3 installation files. Now it's important to remember that this is going to create a new database and we are going to transfer the 6.9 information to the new ARS 7.3 database. So it's not an in-place upgrade. They're going to both be running the same system um, after you install 7.3 you will have to uninstall 6.9 uh, there will be another video and there's also a knowledge base articles in our knowledge base about how to do that in this video we're only going to cover the actual installation of 7.3 so you want to open this and click on active roles to bring up the installation files yes you want to read through this introduction and click next read through the license terms and accept and next and then you want to pick what you're going to install we're not going to install synchronization service we're just going to install the administration service the web interface and the console mmc interface next and then install and wait for the installation to complete Once the installation has completed, you want to make sure that you have this checked. I want to perform configuration, so it brings up the configuration box. Simply click on Finix, and here is the configuration center. So the first thing you want to do is configure your database. So you simply click on configure, put in the password for your ARS service account, click next. Pick the group for Active Roles Admin, click Next, and you want to do a new Active Roles Database, click Next, put in the information for your SQL Server, and then you can name the database whatever you like, in this case we'll leave a default at Active Roles 73, and then hit Next, and you this is for the encryption key backup, the location, and if you want to protect it with a password or not. Um, in this case, we're not going to. Next, and then it's going to list everything, and then simply click Configure, and it'll create the database. Okay, and once that is complete, you simply click Finish. Okay, so the next step we want to do is import the configuration. Now, in order to do this, you will have to stop the ARS service. So simply go into your services. and look for the active roles administration service and stop it now when you're turning off the service you want to make sure you turn off the administration service which is for ars 7.3 and not the edm service which is for ars 6.9 that service you want to keep running and go back to the configuration center import configuration and put in your source database the source database should be your ARS 6.9 database. Simply click next. Destination database will be pre filled in. Next. And it's just going to check if any add ons are installed and then click next and then ready to import and simply click on import. And once the import is complete, click finish. Okay, once the import is completed, you will have to go to your services to start your ARS service again. Do that. Start the service. And you can check here for when it's ready. This light will turn green. Okay, once the light turns green, you want to go back to the dashboard and configure your web interface. You simply do this by clicking on configure and picking the administration service and then clicking configure. And that is done. So simply click on finish. You can close the configuration center. And if we go in here, we should see right here, Active Role 
and here it is fully installed and with your domain added and all your configurations in place thank you for watching this video on updating active roles from 6.9 to 7.3 for more information on active roles please visit support.1identity.com thank you bye